But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. of a Christ to all of you, please invite your friends. And today we have another season of stupidity, let us say. You know, some people, they are really obsessed with somebody is famous or somebody, you know, he have, uh, I don't know, like, I keep hearing things, interviews, everybody want to interview somebody. And it's a season of interview. They would do an interview, uh, Robert Spencer, uh, Upstart Prophet, uh, uh, interview uh, Bart Harmon, uh, Mimi Hijab interview Bart Harmon, uh, 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 what's his name, uh, Jefferson, uh, Peterson, sorry, Jordan Peterson, I never heard of him before, uh, with uh, Mimi Hijab, it's, it's, it's a mess, it's a mess, really we're crazy, you know. But things is going really weird and stupid. Uh, you know, first, uh, the, uh, like in, uh, a discussion between people about religion, shouldn't be both are knowledgeable about the religion. This is the question you need to ask yourself. I mean, who is Mimi Hijab anyway? This guy, they ask him, do you got out hands hands? He said, who said so? This guy even never say, I do inshallah, which is extremely important in the religion of Islam. This guy even wear jeans, have holes in it, fashion. This guy, he take off his clothes and he's a prophet. He says, the one who showed his belly bomb, he will go to hell. So... Uh, it's very weird. I mean, who is the ones who want to explain to you religion these days? A apostate prophet interviewed a woman. She converted to Islam, and she said she converted to Islam because she saw Habib, how humble he is. But Habib is not a Muslim. Habib is showing his belly bar. He's going naked. According to Islam, if you show your knee and up, this is nakedness. If you show your belly bar and down, this is nakedness. <laughs> So all of them, they are a bunch of idiots, you know, those who try to present Islam for us. Don't learn Islam from those idiots. Learn Islam from Islam. So always when you come here, we show you reference, we show you proofs, we show you a real education, not the speeches. But today we are going, you know, just for fun, you know, I'm, just, I'm being bored. So I said to myself, let us see what happened. I mean, it's, it's really funny. It sounds really funny. Here we have uh, 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 Mimi Hijab. He decided to, I did not play the whole video by the way, but uh, you know, uh, I saw a video, it's called React of uh, uh, Peterson for the Quran. So Mimi Hijab, he decided to recite the Quran for uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson. I don't know what he's doctor in what, but anyway. Uh, by the way, invite him to join us so he can learn about Islam, because I notice he's very soft. And that's why the Muslims are talking to him. So Mimi Hijab here, he decided like to destroy the mountain. And I will tell you why uh, I'm saying the mountain word, but later. So he said to himself, I'm going to recite the Quran for him and let us see what happened. Relation. And I can recite for you maybe 10, 20 second verses and translate for you and show you what I think it will give you more of a flavor of what you believe. Mm. 
Sure. Do, okay. do what you will. Sure, sure. So sure. the Quran says in the end of chapter 59. Uh -huh. Allah Just to stop. Just to show you how stupid the verse he quote for us. Have you ever heard of God saying Allah is he who? Let us go to the stupid Quran and what he chose for us. This is the dummy verses he is reading for us. I never heard of this. I mean, from all the stupid Quran, you could not find better verse than this. You did not even start saying two, 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 like a second. He is Allah. Who is talking Allah? Allah is talking. I mean, have you ever heard of a dummy, stupid religion like this? How the one is talking is Allah, and then he says he is Allah. Then whom there is no ilah, but he, but oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> and then he is the one who knows the unseen and he knows the shahada? <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, in translation here is gone. Where is the shahada? The word shahada is gone. Look, in Arabic it says shahada. They took it off in English. Hey, how Allah he knew the shahada, what does that mean? Change the translator. Let us see the front donkey. Allah 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 He is Allah. <coughs> then whom is there is no other Allah? <laughs> he knows the invisible and the visible. What the heck? He knows the invisible and the invisible. And where is the shahada? Shahada is the visible? I never heard of shahada as a visible. <laughs> Let us go back to Mimi. Hey Mimi. By the way, your voice is so good, man. The Quran sounds so good. And Especially we all want to come. Soon we will see how good it was. Unbelievable. Okay, Mimi, tell us more. Uh -huh. Hold on. Allah al Mutakabir. Al Jabbar al Mutakabir. I will I will take you to Google translation. Translation. And we will copy the word in the front of your eyes from the Quran. So you don't say, I'm not copying the word. Allah is what? Al-Jabbar al-Mutakabbir. Let us go to the verse. And everybody will die laughing at such a stupid God. Here we go. We go to Prophet Google, peace be upon him. Paste. Translation. Allah the arrogant? <laughs> you know, when you read the Muslim translation, you don't see the word arrogant. This is what Al-Mutakabbir mean. Allah is an arrogant? What the heck? <laughs> so you are trying to present your God to this uh, Western guy and you tell him I have a God who is arrogant. Aha! Uh -huh. Amazing. That's so good, brother. That's, you choose the perfect verse for that. You have the arrogant Allah. Mashallah, mashallah. Aman, Rabbi, aman. Allah mutakabbir means aman. What a stupid religion. Sing for us more. We did not hear it well. I think you have more to say, right? Oh, okay. Subhanallah, <laughs> yam. Allah, he says, Subhanallah. I mean, like, what the heck with this religion? 
Allahi say subhanullah. Allah saying glorify be Allah. <laughs> I mean, anyone who have a little brain, he will say something wrong with those words. Obviously, this is not Allah talking. Is somebody making a book, speaking about his God? Allah, he says, glorified be Allah. What the heck is that? Mm. Hey, tell us more, uh, Mimi Hijab. Oh, this is the other one. Hold on. Yeah. Continue, continue. And yeah, close your eyes. I mean, the spirituality is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what happened here? What happened here? Hold on. Did you swallow something? Uh, did you notice, guys, what he said? Uh, 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 what happened? Subhanallah. <laughs> What so let me read the translation from <laughs> no hold on you know i mean this is the most funny stupid thing is about so uh, mimi hijab he did not like what he did in the video so he decided to fix it this is his recitation now, after editing. <laughs> hey, Mimi Hijab, why are you adding echo? I mean, what's that? <laughs> What a crock you are! Echo. So the the uh, what 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 you what you were saying? What is, this is this is the same video? Is it exactly the same interview? It is the same interview. What happened? <laughs> 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 See, Quran with echo is different from Quran without echo. Can Allah make echo like your echo? Obviously, you don't have a software to do it. Can Allah make Quran like yours now with echo? Stupidity is amazing. And then, after he finished reciting the Quran, <clears throat> uh, Peterson, he threw a bomb at the stupid Mimi Hijab. From, uh, I don't want to get this wrong, right? These two verses, I think, are probably the two best verses that answer your question in the Quran. Allah is He. I'm going to get something maybe a bit better. <laughs> uh, translation. All right. Are you looking, are you looking for a translation? The first translation you did not like. <laughs> Let me look for something better. <laughs> He opened the translation. Oh, this translation is horrible. No, we cannot show him this one. We are trying to sell out Islam. I mean, this is translation. No, let us look for a better one. Uh, uh, why you need translation? Don't you speak Arabic? He is Allah. Uh -huh. That there is no God worthy of worship except for him. Uh, uh, who is saying that? Allah, Allah saying, saying he is Allah. He is Allah, Allah saying he is Allah. Looking at who? Allah. Looking at who? Well, Allah looking at Allah. <laughs> the king. The holy, the one free from all defects, the giver of security, the watcher yeah. over his creatures, wow. the mighty, the compeller, the supreme. The glory be to him. The glory, glory be to God. Uh -huh. High is he above all that they associate. Glory to be to God. Allah saying a glory to be God. Allah saying glory to be God. To Allah saying a glory to be to God. That is Allah talking. He has partners with him. He is Allah. Allah saying he is Allah. I mean, come on, it is genius author talking. So a Christian prince, he wrote a book about himself. He says, Christian prince, he says, he is a Christian prince. Who's talking? Christian prince. What he's saying, uh, he is a Christian prince. He is who? Christian prince, you are a Christian prince. 
Well, I am Christian prince, but he is Christian prince. Okay, Christian prince. If you are a Christian prince, who is he, the one who is a Christian prince? You don't understand. I'm telling you that he is a Christian prince. Okay, we got it. He who? Christian prince. But you are a Christian prince. That's so deep, man. That's so, you chose the perfect verses for the guy. The creator, the inventor of all things. The exactly. He is the, he is the one who invented the echo software. I mean, who invented that software you are using? Look like you don't like the Quran with, by Allah words alone, so you decide to add echo because Quran without echo is zero. Beko. Bestower of forms. To him belong the best names. All that is in the heavens and the earth glorify him, and he is the Almighty, the All Wise. Allah saying he is the Almighty, All Wise. Allah saying he is the Almighty, okay. So these are. And now look what, what uh, Peterson will say. I, I did not watch the whole video because obviously it must be, it must be stupid. But it was his luck, luck you know. I move it uh, because he was saying the reaction of uh, Peter, uh, Peterson to the Quran. So I decided to see the reaction of the guy. I would say the two, potentially the two best verses that summarize for us. Yeah, so, right, so it's an attempt to use yeah. a multiplicity of virtues to, to define a, a supreme source of good. Uh -huh. So, yes. okay, I have a, a technical question for you, a procedural question, I guess. Um, when we're talking, so you sang those verses, and then, so here's what happened. I asked you that question. You sang those verses, or chanted them, it's, or, or a combination them. of those yeah. two. Okay, but there's a, there's a melodic element to that, yeah. and I don't understand the language. Mm -hmm. And then you <laughs> translated them. And so, why approach the answer to, to my question in that manner? Do you see the stupidity? Guys, do you see the stupidity? I ask you a question. Why you are singing for me the Quran? Why you are singing for me the Quran? Is that a legitimate question? We are having a meeting, and now you want to quote for me your book, and what do you do? You start singing for me your book. How are they knowable? Is that only through relationship with the... Hold on, we look like we, we, uh, uh, we went forward more than we should be. All right. Here, maybe. After me. And so th there's no reasonable reason for us to think it will end in... Oh, I think Christ actually said that, that believers would be able to i think i uh i'm going faster here where is the come on 24 where he was singing the quran wasn't 24 that's going to come and in fact i know what, what, what at what minute guys at what it was uh, what minute it was he was singing the quran <clears throat> maybe an hour and 24 i mean this is my by mistake i moved them the, this uh, this uh, uh, meeting is very long so let us see where he was uh, closing his eyes Anyone knows which minute? How this happened? By mistake, I click at the mouse and I moved uh, the timeline. <clears throat> I think here he was singing. Do the blind? He no. Muhammad, he did what? Muhammad, he, he, he did the blind? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> uh, uh, guys, don't ask me questions for now. I mean, uh, we are making a comment about the topic, right? When we finish, I ask who have a question. I'm not reading your, uh, your question about comment. Speak about this, speak about that. What's wrong with you? We have a topic. What's wrong with people? We have a topic. We have a topic. Are you blind? When we are done, we say who have a question. I will read your, your comment and we will go there. Okay, somebody saying 31 and the mayor 31. And it's embodied virtue that is in some sense reflective of... I didn't see that in 31. Let's see. Here. This is 30.
population. And I can recite for you maybe tap yeah, okay, here. Here 31, so the minute 31 he start re 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 singing the stupid Quran. Here I think he finished. Okay. Uh, so let me read the translation from from uh, I don't want to get this wrong, right? These two verses I think are probably the two best verses that answer your question in the Quran. Okay. Uh -huh. Allah is He. I'm trying to get something maybe better. A bit better. <laughs> uh, translation. All right. Nice He is Allah. That there is no God worthy of worship. Guys, notice he chose Muhsin Khan. He chose Muhsin Khan. So in the future, Mimi Hijab, if he ever dare to speak to me, he have to accept Muhsin Khan. We just heard him saying, Muhsin Khan, who is this Muhsin Khan? Hold that. Let me go to Muhsin Khan. Hey, Muhsin, where are you? Muhsin Khan. Muhsin Khan, Muhsin Khan, Aman Rabbi Aman. Where is Muhsin Khan? I don't see him here. Anyone knows who is Muhsin Khan? I see Shakir, I see, I didn't see Muhsin Khan, I see Muhammad Assad. We will look for this Muhsin Khan later, no problem. Okay, uh, continue, continue, Mimi. All right. Muh Muhsin Khan, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, translate. for him, the king. The holy, the one free from all defects, the giver of security, the watcher over his creatures, the mighty, the compeller, the supreme. Glory be to him. Glory, glory be to God. High is he above all that they associate as partners with him. He is Allah, the creator, the inventor of all things, the bestower of forms. To him belong the best names. All that is in the heavens and the earth glorify him, and he is the almighty, the all wise. So these are, I would say, the two potentially the two best verses that summarize for us. You know, so, right, so it's an attempt to use yeah. a multiplicity of virtues to, to define a, a supreme source of good. So, yes. okay, I have a, a technical question for you, a procedural question, I guess. Um, when we're talking, so you sang those verses, and then, so here's what happened. I asked you that question. You sang those verses or chanted them, it's, or, or a combination them. of those yeah. two. Okay, but there's a, there's a melodic element to that. Yeah. And... I don't understand the language. And then you translated them. And so why approach the answer to, to my question in that manner? Because we believe that the Quran in its original language has an element in it or has a, has a virtue, if you like, to it or an attribute to it, which cannot be felt or experienced phenomenologically, if you like, mm -hmm. through um, tr just mere translation. We believe so, that... Yeah. And so what what purpose does that serve in the discussion with someone like me? Abdul, what purpose that such a discussion can do serve with me? Actually, he chose a chapter which is proven to us Islam to be false. Do you know why? Let us go. Uh, Sam Shamuni is saying this is a translation for uh, Hilali. Hilali and Khan. You say it right? This is Mahsen. Hilali and Khan. Okay, let us go to Hilali and Khan. So we will choose Hilali and Khan, so we will have the same translation. And now Mimi, our sister Mimi, she cannot say, I did not choose this translation, I don't accept it. As you heard him saying, uh, a translation of Muhsin. All right, so uh, he asked him what purpose that will, will serve when you recite the Quran for me. The coward Mimi Hijab, he refused to treat for him a verses before where he started. Because that verse will expose the Quran. Why? He said, this is a Quran we send. If we send it in a mountain, this mountain will collapse. He will humble himself. He will collapse. He will, he will surrender to Allah. This guy convert to Islam right away. It didn't work. He chose a Quran, and by the way, this is just the verse before he started. Look, exactly. why he did not start from here? 
Why you start from here? You mm -hmm. start from this one. He If is I Allah. recite to you okay. this verse, you will says, straight away convert this Quran like the mountain on mountain. Did. He would surely have seen it humble mm -hmm. himself and send in surrender. Come, oh, the guy did not surrender. Peterson was still skeptical about it all. So the experiment failed. Fail. <laughs> Epic fail. He was hoping that we will say those verses because the Quran says, this is a Quran. If you say it to somebody, he will go, you know, look what happened to Christian Prince. I am surrendering. <laughs> Unbelievable how much surrender we have. Look, we have, we have hundreds of people listening right now. And all of them, they surrender after they heard your voice. I know. And because it doesn't work with the surrender, so what do you decide to do? You decide to do Echo movie. <laughs> echo. You are okay, you are echo on us now. So you think that will work now? You should. I think you know what you should install Echo software before you talk to Jeffers to Mr. Peterson next time. <laughs> I can do that in the bathroom, by the way, without a software. If the Quran is a book of God, and the Quran saying in the same chapter you are quoting, just a verse before, if they hear this Quran, a mountain will surrender to Islam. And then the guy did not surrender to Islam. So what do you do? You go home, you look for a software, and I bet you the software is installing. I bet you the software is stolen. I challenge this guy to show us the software he is using for the echo. And I challenge him to prove that it's not stolen. And now we will add the echo so may the Quran will be respected. Especially nobody understand what the Quran is saying. The Quran is so stupid. <laughs> He is amazing. Now, as long as potato, he chose this chapter. This chapter is hilarious. First of all, obviously the Quran is the biggest failure. Here we go, people, they heard you reciting the Quran. We play it all to the end. And nobody surrendered to Islam and you are a fool like your prophet. And we are laughing at your Quran. Not only we did not surrender, we are laughing at the stupidity of a God. He says, it is he who Allah. He is Allah. Who is saying that? Allah. Then, if we go up in the Quran, the same chapter, you will see that the shaitan is a Muslim. Their aliens deceive them. Like shaitan, shaitan, he said to the man, disbelieve in Allah. But when the man disbelieve in Allah, shaitan says, I am free from you. I fear Allah, the Lord of Alameen. Look, the, what the heck? Shaitan is saying shahada and he's a Muslim? Shaitan, he fear Allah and he worship Allah. So why you call him Shaitan? Uh, I forgot your prophet, he said uh, that Shaitan, he command him and he's a Muslim. And do me a favor, all of you, after we finish here, go and invite this gentleman, Peterson. Obviously, he do not know much about Islam. With my respect to him, I do not know him. But obviously, he has zero knowledge of this religion. This is the most stupid garbage religion ever. And the Muslims, they depend in your ignorance, you know? The Muslims, they're, 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 they're say, uh, their victory can come only when you are of, uh, in, in ignorant about this, cult, about this cult. Look at Muhammad. Muhammad, he said, every human being, he have a genie as a companion. The companion, they said to him, would you too? Thereupon, he said, yes, yes. But Allah help me against him and I am safe from his hand and he does not command me but for good. So Muhammad, he admit that he receives satanic verses and command from shaitan every day, claiming that shaitan giving a good command. Right? 
Now, as long the Muslim, they love Echo, I am going to speak to you from Echo and from now on by Echo. Brother and sister, 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 today we are going to talk, talk, talk about a topic, 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 topic. So you will love it, love it, love it. The prophet, he was receiving command, command, man, from the prophet, from the, from the, from the shaitan, 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 shaitan. Because your shaitan, he became a Muslim, 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 but he is a good shaitan, good shaitan, good shaitan. There is no good angel in Islam, there is a good shaitan, 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 and he command me to do good, brother. Are you crying? Are you crying with me? Are you converting to Islam? Are you submitting to Allah right now? Please, if you are submitting to Allah, 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 don't forget to make echo, go to the bathroom and say shahada so because we can have echo and we can record it record it record it if you don't have an echo in the bathroom we can make a software for you starting from the internet this is religion shaitan he command me to do good and here you ask yourself what kind of a prophet you receive command from the devil claiming that the devil is a good devil I thought Muhammad he received command from his God. And as you see, this is authentic hadith. The Muhammad and they cannot say it is not true. Going back to the same chapter, this idiot he chose. Perfect chapter. Mimi Hijab, he just made a video actually. I just saw it because I'm searching for a topic. He made a video saying, this is a good conversation. We are building bridges. He's building what? He is building bridges. Are you allowed in Islam to build the bridges? Mimi? Christian and Muslims, they are all for building bridges. But this is against Islam. The same chapter saying that the one who do that is the munafiqeen. Who is the munafiqeen? The Muslim hypocrite, which means they will go to hell. Alam tara ladina. I sing it for you with echo. Alam tara Have you, Muhammad, so not observed the hypocrite who say to their friends among the people of the scriptures who believe, who disbelieve? By Allah, if you are expelled, we too indeed go out with you. <laughs> Building bridges. According to Islam, the one who built the bridges with the Christians is the Munafiqeen. The fake Muslims. Someone told me, I did not watch the whole video, that Mimi Hijab, he claimed that the Prophet was attacking caravan after they kicked him out from Mecca. Okay, but why you are attacking caravan of people who never attack you? <laughs> the same chapter is speaking about Allah Prophet taking the booty of people who did not really have a war with Muhammad. He did not even take it by war. Those people, they fear Muhammad and they run away for their life. And Muhammad, he took all the booty. He invaded their houses. He stole the TVs, the iPhone, the Echo software for the Quran, you know. He stole everything. And then he took what is enough for him and the rest he gave it to the Muslims. The same chapter. Allah, he ordered the prophet to do excel the enemy of Muhammad. And this coward was saying that the prophet is not a warlord. Jordan Peterson before he said, "Well, you like it or not, Jesus, he never led an army, he never killed anyone, and Muhammad is a lord of war. He's a figure of peace. I don't think that that's disputable. I mean, he certainly, he wasn't a warlord. That's, that's one thing that's for certain. He never led armies, you know, whereas that's not the case with Muhammad at all. Muhammad was clearly and indisputably a warlord. 
Exactly, and he was a scumbag. He ordered his followers to attack the Romans so they can get the blonde girls. He said, room, tag, tag al -asfar. Are we making things up? The Roman they never fought him. He sent them a letter saying, convert or I will kill you all. Convert or I will kill you all. When the Muslims, they were fearing invading the room, the Roman, because they didn't know the situation of the Roman, the Roman, they were weak at that time because they just finished a war, long war, 300 war, years war with the Persian. So the filthy Muhammad, in order to convince them to go and attack the Roman, he said to them, attack the Roman so you can get the blondie girls. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? And if you don't believe me, I can show you the reference right now. Actually, there's tons of reference about that. Many Islamic interpretation quote those reference and they consider them to be true. And I can put for you in the screen as many as you wish. Let us go to the Tafsir. Al-Thalabi, Al-Suyuti, etc. Let us see, hold on. Let me find it first in the in the Islamic website of the government of Saudi Arabia. So Muslim will not say this is a fake website as used one. You know them. You know them, right? Where is the Muslim government website? Look, the, uh, the react of the dogs when they, recite, uh, they heard uh, uh, Mimi Hijab reciting the Quran, they surrender to Allah. I don't know if you can hear them in the background. Uh, let us see. I have tons of websites actually in front of me, but I want an Islamic official website. This one is an Islamic website, but I don't know if it's an official. Let us see. At this is okay. This is this is uh, this is uh, official. All right. This is the government of uh, uh, of Jordan, and this is a website owned by the king himself. And this is why the king is corrupt, because supposed he descended from Muhammad and his family are the most corrupt people ever. You can imagine. This is Tafsir al-Jami al-Bayani fi Tafsir al-Quran al-Imam al-Tabari, written 310, according to the immigration of the terrorist. And here you will see it says in red, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ أَغْزُوا تَغْنَبُوا بَنَاتَ الْأَصْفَرِ Attack the Roman, you get the daughters of the yellow. Down there he said, attack the Roman so we take of them sex slaves from the best of their beauty ones. And here we go. We use Google translation to translate. Let us do that. Invade Tabuk to get the daughter of Bani al-Asfar. Asfar mean yellow. The women of the room. Do you see it? This is the filthy noble prophet of God. Urzu, so you can get the yellow girls. Meaning the women of the Roman. So, Mr. Patterson, he was right when he said Muhammad is a filthy warlord. This guy is a rapist. This guy is using those fool Arab or let us say the outlaw of the Arab to attack the neighbors for one reason, to get their blonde girls. They are obsessed with white women. One of the men, he was there, his, they call him the grandfather, obviously maybe he's old. 
He says, permit us, uh, Prophet. Uh, you know, don't don't uh, test us. Don't tempt us with women. A man with decency, he was one of the followers of Muhammad. He said to Muhammad, don't tempt us with women, man. Muhammad, he claimed that this person is a false Muslim. This is Islam. Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. So you want to sing to the guy to show him the impact of the Quran and the Quran says, and this is the reference I just gave you the link. And the Quran says, if you recite those verses in somebody, he will collapse like a, 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 a even, even if it's a mountain. A mountain. The same chapter, he was actually saying to Mr. Peterson, it is Islam who will take you out of your home. It is he who drove out the disbelievers among the people of the scriptures. Do you see it? He drove them out of their houses, the faith in Muhammad. What about Bani al-Mustaliq? They were attacking Muhammad? They were people of Mecca? No. Why Muhammad he attacked them? Because they have a beautiful girls too. They have a lot of cattles and they have very pretty girls. When Muhammad he attacked them, those people, they have no idea that even such a thing will happen. carefully and this is the filthy Bukhari the prophet had suddenly attacked Bani al without warning he did not even tell them why why they were headless and their cattle were being watered at the place of water their fighting men, which means the poor men who try to defend, killed. Their women and their children, they've been taken as a sex slaves. And Muhammad, he raped the women. She is the daughter of the, 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 the most beautiful women in the tribe. He raped her before even he leave the, leave the camp. This is Muhammad, the one they try to present to you that he is a good person. But you need to notice here that you people, you love to see videos of people showing their face. People who show your reference and teach your real education, you don't even watch their videos. We make a video, how do we get to 20,000 after 24, 24 hours? If a whore, she make a video about her lipstick, millions of people will see it. Because this is the word of the whore. Here we say the truth and only the truth. People don't want to see the truth. People want to see naked pictures. People, they want to see naked women. People, they want to see people making a show, showing their faces and making some scene. They don't want to see a reference. They want to see two fool people making philosophy. Is religion is a philosophy? Since when? Is it? I'm truly sick of lies in this earth. People worship famous ones. As if it's somebody he is not famous and he get deceived is not important. If somebody became a Christian, like what his name, this guy, what his name, a singer, he became a Christian. If we talk about it as if it's a big deal, I mean, who is this guy? What a hypocrite word. Idols worshippers, the same as the Muslims. They worship a, a man, his name is Muhammad. They worship his testicles. They worship his sperm. They worship his spit. They were fighting over the poopoo of the camel of Aisha. And many of the world today, they are fighting over poopoo of famous ones. They worship their poopoos. 
A famous one, he said something. As a famous man, he, said, he is God now. Bill Gates, he became a prophet. That's it, he prophesied. Bill Gates, he prophesied. As long as you are rich, you can be a prophet. I mean, this world is really sick. And I am sick of it. People don't deserve somebody to say the truth for them. People want hookers. People want nakedness. People want food. People want jokers. People want comedy. People don't want somebody to make them cry. We spend our life studying to teach you. And then we find that's only a few thousand watch the videos. And then a person, he do not even know how to say two words in the language we speak. In the book we are reading, he got thousands and thousands of you. Why? Because Satan is in charge. Yesterday I said I love the Filipino peoples. One, one idiot, he started saying bad things about the Filipinos. He said the Christian prince, he likes Filipinos because they are white. Since when yeah, Filipinos yeah, are white, you stupid, you did son of Muda. Like you, you Filipinos cannot are do white. anything good without being And why a white man will love anymore. white people? So really, everything around you make you yeah, sick. It's not just the Muslims, it's us Christians too. This Mimi Hijab himself, nobody will listen to him. But thanks to someone like David Wood, he made him famous. David Wood, he have a specialty to make the fool famous. Any fool would like to be famous, he contact David Wood. David Wood invite him to his channel, and then he became a, a big famous fool. This is reality. And then we have to deal with all those fools. But it doesn't matter. Still, those fools will stay a fool, became famous or not. But the question is, why you people are too much concentrating in the fool? Why it really didn't matter for you what Mr. With my respect to this guy, I do not know him. This Dr. Patterson, what he say? Why it's so important? Who cares, really? Who you listen to? Who is your guidance? What if this guy became an atheist tomorrow? What he if is. he became a Christian? He... What if he became a Hindu? Is that have, going to have an impact on you? No. Reading God's word has an impact on us. People are really weird and, and foolishness is in charge. The Old Testament that our Lord Jesus read. Foolishness is literally in charge. True. Intelligence is not exist no more. We know we need somebody to think for us. True. We need somebody famous to tell us what is right, what's wrong. Nobody want to see what God said. True. People want to see.